So I got this idea from the Workshop Companions YouTube channel where Nick Engler used the now restricted chemical to identify different types of oak. Here, let me just show you. Here on the North American continent, there are six botanical species that give us white oak lumber and eight that give us red oak. With 14 different species, sometimes these differences aren't so easy to discern. What if you just can't tell? The way the pros do it is to wipe the wood with a 10% solution of sodium nitrite. Now I wanna show you how to use this banned chemical to test oak wood, why it works, and also explain to you why it's considered dangerous. But first you gotta see how I messed up the entire experiment before it even began. Check it out. Based on the video we just watched, Nick Engler used a concoction of 10% sodium nitrate and 90% water. We're gonna be testing some dry red oak and dry white oak, and then do the wet red oak and wet white oak. And then we'll go from there. We're gonna spray these bad boys down and then wait an interval of five to 10 minutes, over an hour, how long it takes for these um, to change. Perfect. We're gonna find out what happens, okay folks? I'm gonna find out what happens. Why isn't this working? It's not changing colors, dude. Let me watch the video and like Google it and see what the heck is. Oh my gosh, dude. So apparently you're supposed to use sodium nitrite, not sodium nitrate. Those are two different chemicals and obviously you can see that didn't work very well. So now we gotta go back to the drawing board, order some sodium nitrite, and then once it comes in, we'll do this test over again. We have to go back and order the right chemicals. And in the process of doing that is where I found out why this chemical is considered dangerous to some people and has been taken off some suppliers' websites. Okay, so it turns out sodium nitrite isn't as easy to come by as I thought. Come around here, I'll show you. Curing salts, that's not even the right stuff. The same problems I ran into last time when even with ordering the sodium nitrite, nitrate. See, that's the wrong stuff. And that's how I got confused. I was looking for sodium nitrite but it won't let you order it off of Amazon unless you have a business account. Now, I looked up the same company that uh, Workshop Companions used, and I seriously cannot find it on their website. So I sent an email to the Procure website. They emailed me back, they were pretty cool. So they're gonna send me some sodium nitrite in the mail, and uh, we're gonna take it over there, and I'm gonna explain to you exactly why this is such a big deal, and why some companies are taking it off the website. I gotta be very careful with the way I word this so I don't get flagged by the YouTube police. There are negative websites out there that teach people to use the sodium nitrate to hurt themselves. And being in recovery with over five years of sobriety from drugs and alcohol, I could certainly relate to why people would want to give up. But instead of getting their hands on something like this, they need to get their hands on some Jesus. All of my accomplishments and glory can be given to Jesus. <sighs> now, back to the task at hand. And with a few emails back and forth proving our good intentions, they've decided to help us out and fill our order of sodium nitrate. Thanks, Alyssa. So while we wait for the nitrite to come in the mail, I wanna show you why the sodium nitrite test works in the first place for oak and not so much for any other species. The sodium nitrite test works on oak because of special stuff called tannins inside the wood. White oak has more of these tannins and they react with the sodium nitrite to turn the wood darker. Tannins are like natural dyes found in oak wood, especially in white oak. They're what makes strong tea and some wines taste bitter. In oak, they help protect the tree. Red oak has fewer tannins, so it doesn't change color as much. Now, other kinds of wood have different chemicals, not these special tannins. So the sodium nitrate doesn't react the same way. This is why the test only works on red and white oaks, not any other species. It's like trying to use a special key on the wrong oak. It just won't work. Look what came in the mail. <laughs> Look at that. Pow! 10% sodium nitrate and the rest water. So I don't know how, I don't know how the heck we're gonna do this. Like, see, honestly, I have no idea what the heck we're doing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have our 10% sodium nitrite solution. We're gonna test it on the white oak and red oak dry samples, red oak and white oak wet samples, and a dry white pine sample as well, just for a control. Test it on the white pine here, see how that works. We're, the reason why we're doing both dry and wet samples is because I heard, I checked online that the wet, the results of the wet samples come in faster than results of the drier samples. And we did check both of these, all of these samples with a moisture meter as well. Right on this part of the oak, that's white oak. We're gonna slap it on this part of the dry red oak, wet red oak, and then again for the wet white oak. 
And then we'll check back here in about 10 minutes and then show you exactly the results of these tests. It's been about 20 minutes and the results are quite obvious. Wet oak and the dry oaks, they both turned very dark very fast, leaving the red oak just slightly colored and it's for the most part pretty darn dry too. So I'm assuming that that's, so this test is plausible. You could use this sodium nitrite test to determine whether or not you have white oak and red oak easily. So we learned that sodium nitrite actually works for oak identification, but unfortunately we learned that it doesn't work to identify any other species. So what are we gonna do? Well, good news, we got other wood identification videos, including one where Joe uses all of his senses to identify wood in this video right here. We'll see you there, brother and sisters.